Hi again, uh, welcome to SAF. This is Surviving as a Family, a uh, channel dedicated to surviving on basically a budget for, for families. So my name is Wes, and I want to go over today EDCs, which is Everyday Carry Bags. Um, this is something we picked up at Walmart. It's called Just In Case. Um, it's a great, great starting point for something you just want to throw in your car and keep there and kind of just know it's back there but not really have to worry about it. It doesn't take up much space. Um, you can see the bag kind of it's real skinny. I've got a, a roll of duct tape right here, but it's kind of skinny, not too much to it. Um, it's a great little bag. It holds up. I keep it in the, behind the seat of my truck. My wife keeps it in the trunk of her car. So I want to go over what basically comes with it, and then we'll talk about what I added to it. So we have jumper cables is the first thing that comes with it. Um, jumper cables are great if you're preparing for a zombie apocalypse, a hurricane, or just coming home from work, you never want to end up with a dead battery. Flashlight and the batteries that come with it. Um, flashlights are always very important if you follow the 10 C's at all. Um, candle is one of uh, Dave Canterbury's 10 C's. So it, it comes with a flashlight already in the kit and the batteries. I keep the batteries separate. Um, if this gets corroded for some reason, those batteries will corrode and ruin your flashlight. So always, always keep your batteries separate. Comes with a poncho. Um, the poncho is great. Of course, if it's raining, you have to change a tire, jump your dead battery. But uh, it also helps in, in long-term survival for, for a shelter. Comes with a pair of gloves. Um, these these are great little gloves. They're, they're warm. Um, they help protect your hands if you're doing something. Uh, changing your battery, of course. You don't want to get a lot of stuff on your hands. But uh, because of their, they're very fibrous, um, you can take this apart and start a fire with them. It's another little great thing to have. Then it comes with a toe strap. Uh, the toe strap is very handy. I've had to use it a couple times already, helping myself and, and friends of mine get out of the get out stuck of the mud and stuff like that. But uh, you could use it to build shelters. You can build a little hammock out of it. There's a I'll do a video later on it. But there's a lot of great uses for this toe strap. And then it comes with a first aid kit, and we'll go through that. So the First thing you pull out of it is these little, they call them rayon balls, but they're actually just cotton balls. Um, these things are amazing. I love cotton balls. I keep them in every bag that I have, and I'll do a fire starter video on, on cotton balls and different things like that. Tape. Antiseptic towelettes. little gauze pads. It comes with multiple different sizes of band-aids. There's all the band-aids. And then the little emergency first aid. A uh, little pamphlet tells you how to do different little stuff like uh, it's got things on here on shock, uh, wounding and bleeding, burns, uh, hypothermia, frostbite, and then it also has a little how-to on um, CPR. It's in both English and Spanish, so that's awesome. And then, of course, a little plastic bag that it came in. So, like I said, this is a great, great starting point. What I've added to it is duct tape, because uh, here in the South, we all know there's there, there's nothing there's nothing that duct tape can't fix or patch up. So I always have duct tape on me. And then cordage, cordage is very important. There's a, a multiple different uses for. Uh, this is 550 cord, and there's, there's just multiple different uses for it, and I'll do a, another video on that later. Uh, a multi-tool. This one happens to be Gerber. It just happens to be one that I had laying around the house that I just put in these bags. I have a, a couple different ones, but you can get them at Walmart for about $10, $15. Uh, they're good. They work. They've got all the same tools on it, same functionality. Uh, my son has one, and he tears up almost everything he gets his hands on, and... He has yet to break it, so it's it's still a good thing to have the ones from Walmart. So always good to have that. And I added these are like little Dollar General uh, trash bags, large trash bags. Um, I like having trash bags in every all of my survival gear just because of the versatility of the trash bag, especially the, the black ones. 
um, the, the outside trash bags. These are these are great things. So I'll do a video on that. Next thing we have is this tube. This is a paintball holder. I'm not really sure what the official name is of them. Um, I get a lot of my survival gear from Combat Zone here on Merritt Island. They're, they're down the street here. I know the guy is a really great guy. And uh, I was in his shop one day just kind of talking to him and I saw a bunch of these in a box. They're, they're extremely, extremely cheap. And I figured it'd be a good little container just to keep stuff in. It's waterproof. It's got this little little cap on here. I mean, if it keeps the paintballs dry, it'll, it'll keep whatever you keep into it dry. So we open it up. I have a little headlamp that hooks onto the brim of your hat. It's, uh, it's a cheap little one. Uh, it's made by Bushnell. It's, it's not a big, big deal or anything. It just clips onto the brim of your hat. And like I said, I've got the, the, the battery separate. I've got allergy tablets because my son does have allergies and he's allergic to cats and he's allergic to some other stuff I have no idea so if he does have allergic reaction it's always good to have something in there for him. Hand sanitizer always a great great thing to have in any kind of survival bag you have. These little wet fires you can get these at Walmart these are absolutely amazing. A friend of mine turned me on to these um, just as kind of a joke from him because he knows I do a lot of the survival stuff and he thought it was funny as a, as a gift to give me. It turned out to be an amazing find. I really appreciate him for doing that. So these things will start wet. I mean, that's why they're called wet fire. You can drop them in a, in a water, pick them out, and then catch them on fire and they still burn forever. A whistle. Um, Everything we have has a whistle in it or some way to, to signal. Um, some people use the bandanas and stuff like that. They're great to have. I do have those in our go bags, but not in our EDC. But we do have a whistle. It has a compass on it. It has a way to tell the temperature. And then it has a little magnifying glass in here. Right there. Um, I got this at Walmart. Extremely, extremely cheap. Um, I mean, you can obviously tell it's plastic. It's cheap, but it, it works. And then I have a way to make fire in here, which is our fire starter. These things are amazing. Um, they're, they're cheap. They're light. They're you can get them for a couple bucks. I think they were Dollar General. I think they were like two dollars. Is what I got this one for. We have them in everything, um, in our bags, in our gullet boxes. I've got them all over the house because they're just just so cheap. And that is my actual preferred way of making fire. And then of course Carmax. Um, it's great stuff. It's very versatile. I'll do a video. I mean, you can do a whole video alone on just what you can do with CarMax. Um, I'll do one obviously later on, but I like having it. And then, of course, this thing doubles as a as a water container. Um, it, it's very durable. It's thick plastic. I mean, these kids they go out there and they beat these things up. They roll on them. They take them. They throw them. So they're they're very well made and a good thing to have. So this is basically, and I think everything in this kit was. I want to say under 60 bucks for an everyday carry item and it's it's there's a lot of stuff that you'll hear from people that you know you got to add this or you got to have this this and you know I'm no expert on this and anybody who tells you they're an expert is obviously full of themselves um, if there's stuff you want to add to it the bag has more pockets you see inside we've got two little net pockets here to keep everything there's a, a pocket here on the front and then there's an expandable pocket here so add, add what you need. This is just a great starting point for, for beginners. So uh, once again, this is the, the SAF channel. If you like the video, share it. Um, subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing a lot more videos in the coming weeks. So thanks for watching.